Hi triathletes, welcome back to another session with Triathlon Tessa. Today we'll be having an interview with pro cyclist Peter Dutoui where he shares some knowledge with us regarding cycling. So stay tuned as we have an interview with Peter. Okay, so let's start off. Please tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from and what you are doing. Hi, I'm Peter Toy and I'm a professional mountain biker. I ride for Team Paiga Eurosteel and yeah, I do all of the mountain bike races around South Africa. Yeah, you name it, I most likely did it. And um, yeah, like the Nissan races, Cape Epic, Sonic to see, Wines to Wales, all the nice stuff I did it and yeah um, such a privilege to be able to have done all of those races and ride for a mountain bike team in South Africa and um, yeah in my off time um, at home in Porsche I service some bikes and yeah that's that's what keeps me busy. Thank you so much um, the next question what advice would you give to people starting out in cycling if they want to see some improvement in their cycling? Yes, um, if I can give any beginner some tips on mountain bikes, uh, yeah, when you start, you can start cheap, but um, yeah, if you start too cheap with mountain bikes, you really get a really low entry level bike and that means that uh, the bike is not up to standards and it's going to give you a lot of problems and um, yeah, that, that's not nice to have. So I would say start with a second hand bike if you have maybe 5,000 rand to spend, that's a nice place to start and yeah, you can get a decent 29er hotel mountain bike for that, that uh, that you can start with, that's not too heavy and the parts on it won't necessarily be the cheapest and yeah, that, that would last you and you would have a lot more fun riding one of those than a, a new, very cheap, really entry level mountain bike. So yeah, that's that's one of the stuff I would say with starting with mountain biking and uh, yeah, getting your setup right in the start is also quite crucial. Um, yeah, the best thing to do is the satellite is the most important. So when you sit on the bike and pedal, pedal with your heels on the pedals, and if your legs totally extend, but they can still touch the the pedal when your heel is on the pedal, that's that's quite close to the perfect height. Um, yeah, when you get more into it, you can go to professional bike setup people and yeah, they can help you. But yeah, for the beginning, just get your satellite right and um, try to get the reach from your seat to your handlebar as close as you want it. You will feel if your back gets sore you would most likely feel whether you need your animal bar to go further forward or closer towards you. Thank you Peter for that answer, I agree with you 100%. For those of you guys who want to buy an entry level road bike, I would suggest rather go and buy an entry level 10 speed road bike rather than buying an 8 or a 9 speed. I should struggle to find 8 or 9 speed port and to upgrade that to a 10 speed it would cost you about 3000 rand second hand to just upgrade your group set. So I suggest instead of spending 3,000 Rand for an entry level 8 or 9 speed, go and add that 1,000 or 2,000 Rand and go and buy yourself an entry level 10 speed road bike. And then I also agree that the first thing that you should do when you buy a bike would be to get a decent bike fit. Even if you just go and search on the internet if you can't afford a professional bike fit as everyone's flexibility is different and a bike fit would see you going miles and miles upon each other without feeling discomfort. So yes, the next question, Peter, do you perhaps have any advice for people that's been cycling a while and are now stuck at a certain pace and want to see some improvement in their cycling? Yeah, and then when you cycle a bit longer, you would want to get faster and perform better at the races that you do. And yeah, that's just how it, how it is for us humans. We want to be faster and better. So yeah, um, I would say you would want to start with some supplements, um, go to this game or any place and 
get something that uh, has some carbs in or stuff. So when you race, you have some extra energy. A bar gel is always good. And yeah, training wise, um, before the races, try to do some short intervals. That's always good. And for most people that do not have a lot of time, it's great, like a 40 spr second sprint, 20 second race. Do that for three minutes and then yeah, do like three sets of that. As you get stronger, you can increase it. And um, yeah, riding heels. That's always where most of the people struggle in races. So <laughs> that's where you want to train. If there's a heel close to your house, go there, repeat it as much as you feel like. And yeah, and just do not overtrain. That's the main thing. Recovery is key. So if you do a hard session, take two days of easy riding, maybe three, and then do another hard session. And yeah, before the race, then do the day or two days before the race, your intervals um, or our jam session. I don't think that would be the best. But um, yeah, as long as you get on your bike and pedal it, you you will get faster and you will feel feel the difference. Thank you very much Peter, I agree with you. Nutrition is a very important part of triathlon as well as cycling as we need to replace the calories we lost while training. If you want to perform at your best, I would suggest that you use a supplement that has about 60 to 90 grams of carbs that you can replace every hour. I'd also suggest that you try out different types of nutrition as you might get some GI distress if your body is not used to it and also don't go and try something new on race day. Practice your nutrition strategy with the supplements that you want to use on race day while you are training. Thank you for your advice Peter, I really appreciate it and I hope that the triathletes out there have also learned a lot about mountain biking and also that they can apply that to their cycling when they are on the road bike as well. If you like the content of this channel, please like and subscribe to the channel up here and hit that bell notification to be notified when new videos are released. And then lastly, where can people get a hold of you if they have any more questions or they want to service their bike? So yeah, if you like the sport, you would love it and yeah, just keep on cycling and um, do your part and yeah, it would be fun. And yeah, if you have any more questions or so, my details will be down in the description or where it might be. And uh, yeah, contact me and I'll, I'll see if I can help you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Also stay tuned for the last three videos of the series of five where I'll be interviewing experts. If you like the content of this channel, please go and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel up here. Also go and join my Facebook and Instagram on Triathlon Tessa. And then you guys are more than welcome to check out the website at www.triathlontessa.com And keep up the training during this lockdown period and just take it one day at a time and we'll see you guys soon.